The Response Operations Group is the funnel point between what public safety needs in the field and what FirstNet built with AT&T can provide them from a resource perspective. There are other organizations that have SAT bolts that will send out assets to support public safety, but they don't have the team that is 100% dedicated to support public safety with that background. When we get those requests in, we spin up an entire apparatus of resources to support. We have the Global Technology Operations Center, or our GTOC. They're our logistics section. They make sure everybody comes together. We have a radio access network team. They check out the network. They make sure the network is performing well, or if we need resources, we'll contact the NDR team, our network disaster recovery. One of the most unique parts about the Response Operations Group is our partnership with the AT&T Weather Operations Center. The AWOC is a group of dedicated meteorologists. So what we now have is the ability to have a direct line to them. If we have, say, an incident or a weather update that might be coming, we have a direct line where we can type and say, hey, can we get a dedicated weather report for this specific location? Last year, we processed about 1,500 requests for solutions. We say solutions because it's in our portfolio. Whatever meets the criteria they need, an in-building solution, a SAT call for a wildfire, a mini CRD for a command center, a CRD for a hot standby over here. ROG creates a triage process, assesses what's the best device, and then we deploy it. In building our team, we made sure that all of our team had public safety experience to be able to respond to all of these emergencies, knowing what's needed for public safety. We've done all those jobs. We know the stress that's on them. We know what they needed to see. When we arrive, we show up with the same credentials that they have. One of the great things is we've broken up our team regionally across the United States, from the West Coast to the East Coast, police, fire, EMS, different procedures, different policies. I mean, wildfires in New Jersey are this big. I went out to the West to learn about it, and it was massive the way the fires burned and how we have to respond to that. So we hire people regionally. I am primarily assigned to the Southeast region, and then I go up through the Carolinas and up through Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana. So a large footprint. The responsibility of the section chief is to ensure that we never leave a public safety's needs unaddressed. Every section chief that is assigned to that operation stays with that asset, with that agency for the duration of the incident. When we come in and get that initial triage call, we're looking at everything that a section chief could possibly meet. So whether it's loss of commercial power, loss of transport to the cell sites, hazards going in, whether it's Hurricane Ian, where we actually had to worry about alligators and flooding, or we recently deployed to Alaska where there are actually polar bear warnings and different things like that. I've been on the top of a mountain where it's 30 below zero, and I've been in 150 degree weather. You don't prepare on that. You rely on the skill sets that you took growing up up in other careers, but also the training that we do throughout the year. What I find most rewarding about the Response Operation Group is the ability to still continue to serve. It all ends up going back to serving the community. Public safety is relying on you the same way society relies on them. There's nothing more humbling.